over here. Hello everyone and welcome to Set of Friends 3 Round 9 in most sports. Welcome everybody to the round 9 of this competition. Right now we're on the wait time for qualifying as qualifying will start actually now as they will go all out into the track. Let's go who's going ahead. Takuma who will start the first laps. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so first car to go out grid, out into the track, sorry, will be Takuma. As it stands now, we have a really nice battle for the championship in AF3. The leaders are separated by only six points. So, so far it's looking really good, we should expect great things coming from these guys on this track. This is going to be a really, really good race, some really good races today. Today your host will be me, Juan Gutierrez, and race control will be also me, so... Today I'll be doing the same as Josh usually does when I'm not streaming. So yeah, hopefully it goes all well. As they go now to start their laps, here they come. As Takuma will actually start the lap being really tight to the wall. I did not see that one coming. Let's go on ball with him now. Oh. There we go. As he head down, now turn towards turn 3. Now heading downhill into turn 4. Really fast section of the track, a nice pack falling behind of three drivers. I believe that's going to be Polybius um, and uh, to, to Polybius and I believe that was oh that's me. Uh, yeah, it's Polybius and Digodom and also Fail closing over really the close. Fail actually clipping the grass there. Not the best thing to do with these cars. They slow you down quite a lot. Let's go again with Takuma. Sorry that it doesn't show up, it's a problem that we're getting, just ignore it. I have heard that the drivers should be looking for laps around 24s, maybe, or 21s I believe. I think it's 24 actually. As Takuma will go Paul with 25, no, it's taken on with a 24.3. Followed by Polybius, Ben Hees, and Tecma, Josh Brooks, and Hunter. Let's go on board with Digodom, who will start his second la uh, fast lap. Welcome to the streams, firm. Let's go on board with Digodom. There we go. Oh, that's someone who has gone wild, that's Takuma. That's Takuma who has gone wide as Danner will go up to P5. Digodon will not improve almost by little tents there on his first sector. And yeah, nice lap from Plebius with a 24.5, sorry, 24.6. So, chat, who do you think? will be on the top three of qualifying. It'll be Ben Hees going up again, Josh falling close in behind and Diego Don maybe for P3. Seems like Diego Don looks like he's suffering a bit from dirty air, although Polybius is now driving not at his best. Oh, uh, Diodon actually improves on the last sector. Or doesn't actually, never mind. <laughs> Here comes Fahil who started a, sec a third lap. He does not improve on his best lap before. 
dress for the Jesus at Sri Lanka. Now, why might not be the best thing to do? Oh, that's not the best place to park the car there. That might affect Fayil's lap time. Yeah, I believe there's actual dirty air on this course. Uh, Sigurdon will go into the pits. Since, you know, he was following... Oh, that's Fayil going wide. He was following really close to... And he goes into the pits. Here, here's Miles Rack. He does not improve in the first sector. Here's Ben Hees. Who, I believe... Mm, might be able to improve he's always at the top well, most of the time he's at the top but let's see how this pans out never mind he cancels his lap to, to let Josh through Josh is actually improving in the first sector although he does not improve in his second sector Will it be enough on the third set to totally take the lap and maybe get into the top three? He does actually improve, but it's not enough. As he, as he quick switches into the pit, into the pit lane and goes out again. There's my rack. Who's um Miles? Okay. You there? Does not look like it. Let's check on Fail actually. Fail is going actually on, I believe, is his fourth fast lap. But well, hopefully, let's see which sort of lap, which sort of lap time he can get now, or is he actually starting a lap now? Yes, he is. He's starting a lap now. So, let's go and watch him. See if he's able to improve Diego Dom's 24-3. Uh, so far, looking good. He might be able to improve overall, although I believe... We might see, we might see Ben He is starting to take pole position as we speak. Oh, and Fahil is actually improving his first sector, being the fastest sector overall. Good second part, well, good sector, oh, good corners there on the hairpins. Hopefully he has enough speed to actually get pole position. He does improve on his best but not on the fastest so let's go actually on board for this last part of the track now him towards the second to last corner really tricky to get right you have to stick it into the inside to get into the better exit here will it be enough to take pole position though it may be it may be and it is with a 24 zero Fayil goes into pole position Let's check on Diego Domas. Sakuma etches the pit. Diego has actually started a lap and he's not improving yet on his best nor on the fastest as Mansbrack has disconnected from the server. Hmm. Let's see if Diego can actually bring it back on the second sector. Maybe will he will get one tenth of and that might be enough to uh, actually try to catch up to Fayil, since Fayil is actually three tenths away. Yeah, Fayil didn't expect that for him. Yeah. Oh, and there goes Plibius. There goes Plibius with a 24.374. So he's just ahead. Oh, and there goes Josh. Josh with a 24.335. So yeah, amazing lap for Fayil to be able to withstand the pressure from these three guys. So Josh, Polybius and Digodom are all in the same tense actually, so that's amazing from them. As Renato will go to P7 with a 24.9. Seems like Josh might be able to improve. Yes, he, he is improving indeed. As Fayil has actually improved again? Well, no way. Yes, he has. He has improved again. 
With a 34.013, it was before, I believe it was a point, point zero five nine or something like that. Josh will still improve, but it's not going to be enough to take Fayel's pole position. Fayel has done actually a really decent lap time, and that's the time done, so this might be the last chance for Josh to set a good lap. Although it does not look like he's going to be able to take pole position for Fahil. Let's go on to Diego Dom. Diego Dom is actually improving on his best and actually really, really, really close. He might be able to take P2 here. So let's stay here with Diego Dom. Will he be able to get P2? As when he has finished his lap, I will not improve. Well, he improves, but not enough. Will Diego Dom go up to P2? Wait, did he cancel? Or did he run out of fuel? He actually ran out of fuel. Fantastic. Moving on, let's check on Redacted. Redacted is going into the bits. Tacoma is coming around. We'll probably set his last fast lap time. Where he's going to go? I believe it might be P5. And in this, it's P5. Wow, nailed that. <laughs> And I believe that will be the end of qualifying. So it's Fahil who will start in pole position from Josh Brooks, Polybius, Diego Dom, Takuma, Mans Rack, Ben Hees, Lucas Muki, Aridate, Danner, oh, yes, Danner, Jet on Fire, and Hunter, and Costa. Well done from Fahil, really well done. As we now head on to the ads in between the qualifying and race so enjoy this bit Well, that was a nice ending to the ad there. Thanks for being to sponsoring us and for sponsoring F Asia overall. Thirty seconds left until race starts. You hear echo. How about now? Should be fixed. Hello, hello, hello. You can hear me. Bit spam. No. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Here comes the light to start round nine at Mosport. See it? Lights coming up. And lights are away. We go. And Fayel doesn't go. Fayel doesn't go. Fayel had a blunder. And Josh is into the lead. Josh will take the lead for by Polybius. Take it on. And play oh, what a blunder! What an actual blunder! So, Josh Brooks will take the lead from Polybius, Tigodom, Takuma, Fahil, Miles Rapp, Ben Hees, Lucas Ruki, Jet of Fire, Danner, Costa, and Hunter. Overall, it looks like we haven't got any crashes whatsoever, so that's a really nice, clean start to the race. Josh will actually take the lead, and Fahil has dropped down to P5, so he has not to call back all the way up to recover his pole position who he has lost because he didn't start and Josh has gone wide Josh has gone wide and Polybius will go through into lead well when they both touch and they are still continuing good thing to for them to aim to be able to continue and they will be on to the lead so they will actually take the lead as they go now three went on to straight 
the are actually touching, so I'm going to crash. Great a crash, and yeah, that would be a BSC. Oh, Attention to all drivers, this is red control. BSC will be deployed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Virtual safety car deploy, virtual safety car deploy. Uh, stay on the limit on 80 kilometers an hour on the leader and 120 for the rest of the field. I should try and right. Were you ahead of me there? Yeah. Nah, mate, you just got in there. All right, okay. Just to reiterate, who, who was to my left? Both me and failed. Who was to my left there? Me and failed. To, on my screen, I don't know if that's how it looked for you, but on my you right. went. Right. Okay. It was to go now. There's a wider range. I was alone dude. going straight. Two car gaps, guys. Yep, two car, two car gaps. Diego, I believe my so microphone is not fixed. Hopefully. Uh, okay, so maintain that gaps, please, and just avoid any more contacts like that on this on the back straight, please. <laughs> what the hell happened there? We were on a straight, and all of a sudden there were three cars sideways in front of us. On my yeah. screen, it was somebody. Turning into me, I think it was Josh to my left, so that's how it looked. Okay, okay. Not, uh, please keep it quiet. Now we shall wait until the 10 second warning coming up. Going 50. Front, eh? yeah, don't fire, don't Diego, don't watch yeah. what sort of uh, what sort of speed. Oh, virtual safety car ending in 10 seconds. Please be careful and don't jump the gun. Three, two, one, green flag, green flag, go, 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 go. And that's how you do that. Okay, green flag again. Digadon will stay on the lead. Meanwhile, Jet of Fire is actually battling Miles Rack for fourth place. And he will go actually around the outside. That was a pretty decent move. It looks like Takuma has lost many positions. It looks like he had a crash or touch with someone gone Why? I don't know. Let's go back into the battle for P5. Ben Hees will stay on the outside hand towards this corner from Jet on Fire. Jet on Fire will stay on the inside. And be careful because the inside mostly means the win here. As they still go side by side. They actually still side by side now heading towards the second to last corner. They're still side by side. The Jet on Fire is still trying to go around the outside. Now the inside again. And Jet on Fire will take P4. Or never mind because they're still going side by side as Digodon will stay still on the lead and Jet on Fire still on the inside and, and now actually takes the position but it seems like Ben he's not done yet he's trying to go around the outside meanwhile Miles Rack is looking at this they actually touch and, Ma and Ben he's has gone wide it looks like also Arenata I believe that was has uh, almost spun around wow <laughs> Look at them, they're still going side by side, although they had some touches here and there. Now it's Ben he's with Miles Rag. Ben he's staying on the outside, not the inside, but will stay behind. Let's check on Digodon, who's still on the lead, followed by Fayil, Josh Brooks, Jet on Fire, Miles Rag, Ben. Oh, wait, what's going on over here? It looks like we, we ha might have some contact be between Lucas Muki and Takuma. As Jet of Fire will stay ahead of Miles Rack. Meanwhile, at the back, we have Dan Danner and I read that just going side by side, heading towards the third to last corner. Really fast right hander. As Danner will stay ahead. Wow, what a nice restart. Digodon has set the fastest lap overall with a 23.8. <coughs> 23.8. We'll actually have a decent camp to Fayil and Josh, although Josh looks like he might have a chance at launching himself over Fayil. Yeah, this might be the actual first win of Digodom's on stream. Overall, it's looking really good, really clean. Some touches here and there. Only one BSC been deployed so far. So, yeah, really clean.
seems like Diego Dom has actually so lost some gap to Fahil. Fahil is now gaining four tenths in this lap to Diego Dom. Meanwhile, let's look at the battle for P6 as Ben Hiss is being followed by Danner. Danner might have a chance at going into this turn, although Ben Hiss will stay actually on the racing line, will not try to defend as they go side by side now, heading towards the third, third to last corner. And Hunter will try and overtake Polybius, or actually Polybius is going to overtake Hunter. And Danner has gone wide, Danner has gone wide, but has recovered great. Be careful when rejoining though, because that's an important part of the track to, a very bad part of the track to rejoin bad. Anyways, Dan has actually lost the position to Ben Hees as they go over the cup and actually Ben Hees has gone way too wide into the grass there. Wow. It, but it seems like Dan Danner might be able to get away from Ben Hees. And uh, also there has been a battle between Lucky Smoking and Hunter. Maybe Hunter committed an error. Meanwhile, Polybius has just overtaken Costa. Costa who's looking to get around the outside now, well it, be, it will be now the inside of this corner right here. And Fayal actually has look quite a bit of gap to Diego Dom, it seems like he had a bad headset. Josh is still 4 tenths away from Fayil, so he might try out something on here catching up to him on the straight. That gap is closing in really really fast. Maybe Josh will have a chance at getting into the corner, it does not look like he's going to try something here. Might be able to get a chance at the last corner with seven minutes left on the clock plus one lap. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's Takuma who's gone into the wall. Be careful when rejoining, though. It doesn't look like he could slow down there. And it seems like there might have been a contact between Takuma and Polybius. Polybius has lost so many positions, now he's last. Let's check on board now with Josh Brooks, who's still trying to chase Fayil. He's still having a look into the inside and has com made Fayil commit into a slight error. Over a ball. It's not good, it's not enough, it's still not enough yet to go be able to pass him. Digodom actually now done a check, has still 10 push to pass. Compared to Fayil with 7 and Josh with 5 as Fayil goes wide. Fayil goes wide and Josh will almost go through as they both use their push to pass us respectively. They're going to go, well, they're going side by side now at the back straight. Will Josh be able to maintain the inside here or will Fayil be able to... Go around the outside and retain that second position, although it looks like Josh will take that second position. Thank you really much, said by him. And we have a change on the podium, so it's taken on from Josh Brooks, Fayil, Jet on Fire, Malens Rack, Danner, Ben Hees, Ayre that said, Miguel Costa, Lucas Muki, Hunter, Takuma and Polybius. Oh, that's Fayil going to the inside, be careful there. It's still not good enough to force a move into Josh. Oh, what's that about? That's Lucas Muki going through a Miguel Costa. As he now takes P9. Let's go on but let's go on Josh again. Who's now having to defend from Fahil's attack, trying to regain that second position. As Fahil is on the bad position, to be honest, because he started first, now he's third. All that because of a bad start. Basically, he didn't go at the green, at the green, uh, sorry, at the five, uh, six red lights. As Josh will defend the inside, they're all both using their push to pass. Fail looking around the outside. Maybe it is he's trying to set up an attack now and in towards the second to last corner. As Josh will go a bit wider than usual and Fail will stay really, really close. Now heading towards the four minute mark. As Fail might try to make a move here towards the inside of the first corner. Will it be enough? He tried before and will not be actually enough although he has forced Josh wide 
So they're going now side by side and towards the second corner. Uh, George is still ahead. Fayul might try to make a cutback, but it's not good enough. They're both using the push to pass, so they might be on equal speed or horsepower, I believe I should say. Meanwhile, the front Tigodon has just gone. He's gone. He has. Oh, who's that? I believe that's Miles Rack. Yes, it is. Miles Rack, who has gone wide into the grass, has lost now, lost now two positions. And now he's down to P7. Josh now has to defend from Fail, who actually got a great exit. <laughs> Boys, crack. Got a nice exit out of that corner. And will actually take. Be ahead, heading towards the right, fast right hander. But Josh has not given up yet. He's still maintaining that inside line. Although Fayez looks like he has cleared it, and will go back into P2. Me meanwhile, with all of this is happening, Jetofar is actually catching up. I believe I have fixed my voice quality as of now. There shouldn't be any echoes or something like that. So, hopefully, that is fetched. But yeah, it looks like Josh has no, l now lost quite a bit of a gap to Fahil here. He's still within ha ha half a second. Now he's not. But, if Fahil commits a mistake, Josh will go through as well, maybe jet on fire. Let's look at the battle for P10. It looks like Costa has no defense now from Hunter. And Polybius who's coming up now from to P12. Bad result could be if this for him since he was at the lead pack just moments ago. But overall looking like a clean race. Some some touches here and there. But Looking clean, looking really clean. As Fail will use his last push to pass. Fail has now no push to passes. But meanwhile, Josh still has one. So Josh might be able to try something out. And now to towards his second to last lap, or well, yeah, the second to last lap. As uh, Josh is now trying to take the inside. Fail got a bad exit of that corner. Fail still trying to defend the from the outside. Josh is still going side by side. And Josh will try to get, make it a cutback. May go into the inside, but that's too far away for him to get into the into that gap. And Josh will have to call back again the gap. Let's go ball with him. Let's see. Josh still has a one push pass left. So it will be this lap and the next one. And that's the end of it. So Josh still has some chances here and there as he might have gone slightly wide but still good enough. Meanwhile when I'm talking about this, Jetson 5 has actually caught up to them and it's now within one second from them. So Des Josh Brooks will not use his push to pass here. Meanwhile Jetson 5 can and will actually use his push to pass. Jetson 5 might be able to claw back that gap again. Oh, look at that. It's Josh Brooks making a move into the inside of Fayil. He's still there. He rides the curb, but it's not going to be good enough. He's still trying to go around the outside, and that will be the inside here. Meanwhile, with all of this is happening again, Jetson 5 is clashing up, and Fayil is going to the grass. And he has lost momentum, and Jetson 5 might be able to take now P3 from Fayil, and he will be able to. Or is he? Because Fail starts to defend more around the outside. And Fail will stay ahead of Jet of Fire. Meanwhile, actually, when this is all happening too, Danner has actually caught up too. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. Uh, Josh will use his last push to pass. Meanwhile, Jet of Fire still has two. He might not be able to use his last one. He will be able to use one here though, as well as Danner. Let's focus now on Jetto Fire. Jetto Fire might be able to make a move now heading towards the hairpin. Since Fayou has run out of uh, push to passes, Jetto Fire has a clean shot at Fayou. And he will use his second to last push to pass. 
Dana will use it too. And Fayul will go through. Almost clean. They're still going side by side. Uh, Fayul has actually been helped by Josh Brooks draft. And Stigaton will now go back into finish this race. Race P1. Meanwhile, Jet of Fire to go around the outside. And they touch! Jet of Fire has been spun around! And no! Fayul got spun around too by Tanner. And Tanner will take P3. So it's the win for Jigodom. Second place for George Brooks. Tanner, who actually took a P3. Ben Hees will take P4. Jet of Fire, who looks like he will get P5. And Fayul has crashed out again. No! No, no, no! What a bad result! Be careful, we're rejoining! Hunter will and <laughs> Lucas Wicker will go through and Fayil has to stay still because it's a bad place to rejoin! Oh no, what a disaster! What an absolute disaster for Fayil! Oh wow! I did not expect that to be honest! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got lucky. Maybe he's got lucky with getting P4 when he should have been P7, I believe. Yep. So, so what happened there is that on the second to last corner, Jetofire tried to make a move on Danner, and Danner was defending from the inside. He touches uh, Jetofire's wheel, uh, right rear wheel, wheel, and he gets spun around, but. It's as awesome as it looks like a revenge from Dan Danner. He spans around for you too. So, you know, quite crazy to be honest, quite crazy. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be honest on the last lap. I expected something like that, but not at the last moments. Well, overall, it's been a clean race most of the time, with only one BC being deployed. And yeah, wow, really, really exciting race to be honest. And yeah, now to the reverse grid with Fayil, who will start actually in pole position now. Just uh, feels so bad for him. So yeah, Fayul might be able to get a win still. Being followed by Takuma Costa, Lu uh, Polybius, Lucas Muki, Hunter, Redacte, Miles Rack, Jet of Fire, Ben Hiss, Danner, Josh Burka, and Digadom. And now, meanwhile I'm holding you here, let me talk about our, our sponsor, our other sponsor too, and basically the providers of our servers. So I'm talking about, yeah, sub hosting. SAP Hosting has sponsored our race server, which is a PPS server. Their customer service is amazing. They offer us a game server at first, but and they were kind enough to let us try a BPS server. And then and it's really, really great. It's easy to access the web client that is, and it's super fast and reliable. If you want a game server or a BPS, go to our affiliate link subguidehosting.com slash a set of friends and use the code a set of friends dash a dash 3772 sorry guide a guide 3772 for 20% off and they often have deals going on so you can save even more so yes now we're heading towards the reverse grid <laughs> reverse grid race Hopefully my pronunciation wasn't that bad throughout the whole race. I mean, it's not my main language, so... So, yes! Now it will be a reverse grid. And... Thank you, thank you. <coughs> we shall expect great things coming up now in the second race with... Digodom started from the back with J Josh Brooks and Danner. Thank you, thank you. And now we're heading on to the 
great again. Look at this. Tell me this isn't beautiful. Okay, who's robbing the engine already? Who's that? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so it seems like some people are still not going to the grid yet. Okay, who's actually revving it with 30 seconds left? What is it? Hmm. Okay, 20 seconds left onto the start of the second race. Okay, now focus on Dano, focus on Fayil. Oh, where are people? Where are everybody? Where's everybody? What happened? Who failed to go into the grid? Anyways, let's go again with Fayil starting first. But... Hmm... I don't understand. Looks like um, lots of people forgot to, or maybe lost connection. But anyways, let's go again. And there has been a crash already. Let me talk, go and check the Discord. Okay, uh, got a question. What happened, mates? All at the all at the same time as well. So yeah, I saw that on stream. It looks like still there are some people on the server but yeah uh, i don't even see anybody i i would need to read like i would need to get back in the session and That's i might not have ffp and stuff so uh this area just died never hasn't died i see seven people on the server so. people that had some people have lost connection to the server when the, when the we join again was. You want me yes, to? Sure. Yeah. yeah. And then why are you doing? I restart the session. Yes. No, wait, wait a bit. Wait a bit. Sorry. It should keep the positions. I'm guessing. Yes. I hope we won't have. Click it now. Click it now. Just to make sure, and we can restart it again if need be. I'm joining. Ooh, lucky! FFB worked on the first try. Nice. I need I need to get a key by I need to get a key by for auto start system to stop spasti spastically getting my mouse. <laughs> One forty fast. Oh, um, I actually yeah. cannot I actually cannot go Troll, into the chat and. Troll M. Troll M. That's the shortcut turning off auto start system. Oh, actually, let me go into the chat app. Actually, I thought Control M was mouse steering. But it's also for auto start system. One Control M. Yeah, restarting session. Wait, is everybody in? No, I don't think everyone's in. We oh, have two no, people I'm missing. Again, if I'm not here. We have people missing. Do you want me to restart it again? We start it now. With re uh, is isn't there one person missing? Because we're supposed and, to be And it's better yeah. error. Yay. I can restart it for you if you okay, like. Okay, I crashed. Okay, yeah, then we need Juan to come back, so. Yeah. Uh, let me go back again. I actually crashed out. That's fine, just restart, you have to restart it from the, the live timings. Yeah. No, he needs to be yeah. in the stream yeah. though. I can't do it from inside the server. I actually oh, tried yeah. to, I can do it from inside the server, yeah. I should be able should to, be from the chat thing. To restart the session? Yeah. But I'm just gonna, you know, wait for you. Yeah, wait for me to get in and try and restart it. So, let that me get... really weird. Yeah, it was really, really weird. I don't know why that happened. That's Unrelated to the server issue. Did anybody see that uh, cube controls dropped pre-order? Restart the session. GT oh, I'm all the way back. I'm all the way back. Uh, oh, I'm at, I'm at the it's it's I'm at exactly it's exactly how the race ended. It's I'm in ten instead of like five. Oh. And all the quick guys are. Uh, what do we do? You can't. Why is Josh in the grass? Yeah. Why? Formation sh lap or formation yeah. lap? I believe. Why is Josh in the yeah, 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 formation map. Formation okay, map. okay, guys, 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 guys. Uh, please listen, listen to me. We will try and actually do a formation lap. Get you all, guys. Uh, okay, do restart the session again. Uh, well, I don't think that will do it. I don't think that will do it because it Let still me thinks it's two races. This it thinks this is the first race. I think. Well, no, it, it won't go second session because it thinks. Yeah, it does. Do I keep still? I restarted the session. It doesn't go. Yeah, we need to do formation lap. 
We need okay, to. Yeah, I'm going to stand still. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Juan, 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 just read out all of the all of the names and positions that they should yep, be in. Yeah, that's out. going. Yeah. That, thankfully, I had a screenshot of the how the race ended. So good thing I, I Ooh, good. did good, that. Good, good. Yep, okay, so it will be Fail first, Takuma second, Costa third, Polybius fourth, Lucas Muki fifth, Hunter sixth, Redactus seventh, Mansrak eighth, Jet of Fire ninth, Ben He's tenth, Danner eleventh, Josh Brooks twelfth, and Diego Don P thirteen. Shouldn't we just let the leaders go through and just not move until like it's your turn to go? So you say oh, someone fail, just left though. someone just left on my screen. Someone's gone. Yeah, I think someone's no, gone. Me. Uh, uh, fail, I think, is in pole. So yeah, fail go through. Yeah, yeah, fail is in pole position. Takuma should be second place. Well, I'm gone. Oh, yours disappeared. Wait, I got a hit. I have arrow damage. I'm back to pits. Oh my god. I, there was a little bump between Takuma and okay, me. Okay, so does everyone I'm remember? Uh, does I'm, gonna, I'm just going to reverse back, okay? Go then or go. Okay, so oh, Takuma yeah. should be P2. Don't go, don't go. I'm coming back. I'm reversing. Don't go. Uh, fail. Fail. Fail should be first place. And Takuma should do be this, second. Polybius, don't do that. But now some people will have more speed, speed up. up. Push too fast no. so, okay, others. so speed up up to, one, up to 130. Speed up only to 130. And finish this lap, and we'll go into the grid. Do we not have the person in fourth? Because I'm pretty sure I should have started fifth. We're going okay. to the grid. There's someone missing. Yes. I think he's, yeah, someone's no, missing in front of me. Yeah, yeah, someone's missing. Are we gonna have a formation, uh, standing or rolling? Standing. Uh, yeah, I believe we'll be standing start. Go really slow to the grid so you don't miss your grid yeah. spot. Yeah. So. Uh, Fail. When you reach the back straight, drop down to 100, and with re and when you reach the second to last corner, go down to 60. Just to check, you can't hear me, right? Yeah, yeah we okay. can't hear you. Oh. Gonna be the signal to go. Yep. So when 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 we reach the grid, please pull up carefully, and slow don't down, slow down. Yeah. Luke, you can't get a bit away. Oh, there you go, he did. <laughs> yep, now to the back straight, you should do 100 only. And when you reach the second to, sorry, the, yeah, the second to last corner, do 60 to pull up quite nice and easy. I think we, I think we should slow down more. Just, so one, just gaps, one. Uh, gaps, no, or, or else the race will go be over. Question, odds or evens left, right? Uh, I think evens right. Evens or right, odds are left. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cold tires, don't forget. Yeah, yeah remember to cold tires. We will start this race uh, when there's 11 minutes left. Okay. All right for me to get on the grid. Oh wait, yeah, Josh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Josh, Slow try down. to catch up. Slow down. Or just go reverse. Oh, no, 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 no. Work. Fail no, now to 60 yeah, to so pull on the grid. Jersey's in Moss right now. Fail, you're on the left, right? Wait, e even where? I'm on the even right to side. the right or to the left. You said, you said even to the left, yeah. There aren't any pit space. Yep, like, there aren't any right, pit fail, that's records. correct. No, Let's check on Takuma. Right, should we, should Costa, we move up? okay. Just use things. use the tire skid marks. Yeah. I don't see them because I rejoined. Okay, so actually, uh, for you, can you pull back a bit, please? And you are there, good there. You're good there. Josh, have you caught up? Well, I see you there. Seven. I think redacted. You need to move up a little bit. At least yeah, redacted. Right move on. a bit up. That's good. Your left. Josh. Your your. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I believe that's. The, uh, Danner, Danner, go up, up a bit, a bit more, a bit more. That's good. And uh, Diego Dom will go. No, Josh will actually get closer. The time the time uh, uh, go a bit more, bit more. And that's good. And uh, now Diego Dom, go. 
Uh, we start at 10 minutes. Okay, take it up. No, come on, 10 So the race is only going to last 10 minutes. Yeah, 10, 12, to be honest. Okay. Six, okay. Seven, six, five, seven, I thought it was 10.30. Okay. Yeah, 10.30. Two, one, and they go. They go out with a bad start from Fayil again. Well, not that bad like before, but Miguel Costa will actually get P1. As they are going three rows, three wide, they're all touching, but they still haven't crashed yet. So, oh, whoa, 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 lots of people going wide there. And many people actually losing quite a lot of position. That's Bing Hees who has been spun around. And that will be a BSC. Attention all drivers, this is race control. Virtual Celtica will be deployed in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Three, two, one. Virtual safety car deployed. Virtual safety car deployed. That was a window car that didn't break for turn three. Please maintain like speeds or under 80 kilometers an hour. If you are in the lead pack, maintain two cars lengths. And when if you're not on the lead pack, go maximum 120. Thank you very much. It was the I, would just, I would just like to state that there were only two cars off. No, but there was an, uh, there was a crashing ball before with four cars. Me and, the, me and the other guy were already back on track. There were four cars total and two accidents, but me and the other guy were already on track catching up. No, there was three no, cars. There was, there was a three car and another car. The mission win okay. It was looking, but I, I, I think it was uh, internet issue now, because it did something strange. I feel like that actually is bad. Alright, so... Yeah, guys, gaps. Yeah, reminder of gaps, maintain that speed of 80 kilometers an hour when you have caught up to lead pack. This is not 80. Cool Nine tires minutes. again. This is now a top tires, minute yeah. race because we spent a minute and 30 of our 10 and a half under VSC. Very nice. Uh, cold tires again. Look out. At least we can just spam push to pass. Right. Are you not doing ATA, so. But there's not enough straights to make it worth it. Yeah. Uh, jet on fire, careful please, two car lengths. Virtual safety car ending 10 seconds. Now it's good, now it's good. Three, two, one. Green flag, green flag, go, go, go. I stay head out again for the second start of this race. As Costa will have a clean start compared to, I believe it was Takuma who's been followed really, really close by Jet on Fire. Meanwhile, at the back, we see Diego Dom, Hunter, Relata, Danner, Josh Brooks, and Ben Hees. Ben Hees, who actually came out the worst. On that, on those crashes. So, feel bad for him. Oh, that's someone who has gone wide. I believe that's Lucas Mookie. Yes, it is indeed. Uh, let's go into the battle for P. Oh, never mind. Let's focus on this Be battle between teammates. Heading now towards the hairpin. And now, with these little flaps. We will get all the time push to pass. So, oh, that's a spin. That's a spin from Takuma. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's another BSC. No, cannot, cannot deploy it. Cannot deploy it. Even though four cars were involved, they are still going. So, it wasn't that. Anyway, coming back again now, Fayil has is def uh, attacking Miguel Costa around the outside and has gone through cleanly. Seems like Takuma came out of the walls of that, those touches here and there. Fayil now has to defend from Miguel Costa and Polib. No, sorry. Fayil has overtaken Miguel Costa and now Polibius is coming up now to Miguel Costa. Meanwhile, in four positions, Jet on Fire, followed by Miles Rack, Lucas Muki, and Diego Dom. And Diego Dom actually now has. Where's the worst? Lucas Muki! Lucas Muki has gone wide! Lucas Muki has gone wide! Oh no! Fail now uses another push to pass. Costa will not use actually push to pass for some reason. 
Uh, meanwhile, Plebis is actually catching up to him, and Diego Dom and Mans Rag are going side by side, but Diego Dom has gone through. Uh, Miguel Costa will now lose the position to Plebius since he, don't, he did not use the push to pass before. But he's still defending the inside. Now he's going back to the racing line. Be careful when doing that. And Plebius may have a chance here, and he profits of it. And goes through the next driver. Ooh, that's Jeto 5 who has gone wide. I was going to talk about him now being the next rival for Miguel Costa. But he lost a bit of cap there. Miguel Costa is actually going two two seconds slower than Jet on Fire at the last and uh, this lap. Five minutes left on the clock. So this is basically a sprint race, even more than the one before. Or the ones that we usually get. So Fail will be leading from Polybius, Miguel Costa, Jet on Fire, Tigodom, Miles Rack, Hunter, Josh, who is still trying to attack now. I believe it's Hunter, and yes, it is. Now, he needs to watch the hairpin. He might try and make a move here. That car is so damaged. And uh, Hunter's gone wide. It seems like he had a bit of lag there. And he goes through. Uses another push to pass and will not be able to get into the lead pack there. So he's on a second pack. As now Hunter has to defend from Lucas Mookie, who's going to the outside. And uh, will it be enough for him to make a move? It does not look like it, although Hunter is going really, really slow. And he might see a gap there, it's not enough. Danner's actually causing up with between all of this. And now he has caught up to Lucas Muki. Now he's making a move on Lucas Muki. He defends the outside, he now tries to go the inside. Danner with the moves, be careful. And Lucas Muki has actually gone wide. Oh, I'm almost spin from Hunter there. And Danner will be able to take both positions. Thank you really much from Danner there. As oh, oh, whoa, 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 and he saves it. Great job by Danner. Diodom who actually has passed Miguel Costa. There he goes and there's as uh, Miguel Costa has another to defend from Miles Rack. Meanwhile for the battle of 10th place we see Hunter being followed by Ben Hughes who just overtaken Lucas Muki. Wow. Polly Plebius is trying to close the gap still 2.3 seconds away so he might not be able to make it meanwhile here we have a battle for a battle <laughs> a battle for <laughs> fifth place as Miguel Costa has now to defend from Miles Rag please don't touch now Miles Rag will be around the outside Miguel Costa touches with Miles Rag there and uh, Miguel Costa will try and go through here on the last corner and uh, he goes indeed through with a little bit of touching there uh, he does so really clean. Oh, that's Josh Brooks has touched the grass there. Now has to defend from Danner. Danner with who's actually catching up quite fast. They both use their push to pass since they cannot spam it now with there since there is no time to waste. And Danner will actually try to go around the outside. That's way too wide and that's not the best corner to try and make her around the outside. Polybius is actually now losing quite a bit of a gap to Fayil. It's now 2.9 seconds. So Josh Brooks has now to defend from Danner and the whole pack behind him. So this, n it, this might not be the best news for Josh as he gets punted by, by Danner. Oh, look at that. That's Hunter who's going side by side with Ben Hees. And Ben Hees will try to make it go through. And he does cleanly. As Danner has now the advantage getting towards the outside. Well, no, the advantage has a gap. Well, battle head to head with Josh here. Danner will try to make around the outside again. Will he be able to stick it here on the inside? It might be able though. As Ben Hees, I believe that was... No, that's Hunter who has gone wide. Danner is still going around the outside. They're still touching. They're still touching. 
And then they're still going side by side. They might be going now. Three wide. They go two rows, two wide. Maybe he might be able to profit here again. As that now will have the inside. Josh will have to stay on the outside. And the almost touch. As Josh has gone almost a bit wide. Not wide enough though. And Ben Hees has a look now towards Ben Hees. Sorry. Ben Hees has a look towards Danner. As actually Danner with a great, great run out of that corner. Might make a move on to Josh here. He's into the inside and he goes through. Or not yet, because now we're heading towards the hairpin, and yes, he has gone through. Josh Brooks has now to defend from being his on this second to last lap. I believe it will be, yes, it will. So Josh now has to catch up to that if he, want, if he wants to get back that seventh position. Oh, meanwhile, the front we have Diego Don, who's actually overtaken Jet on Fire. Oh, and they almost touched there. But Geodon sticks it and st and gets P3. Meanwhile here we have Dana who's been now very full trying to defend from Josh. And Ben Hees who's now trying to attack Josh followed by Lucas Muki. Let's focus on this battle. We it seems like if Jet on Fire might be able to get that third place back on this final lap. So he might be able to defend it. Dicodom still P3, so Jet on Fire now has to close the gap if he wants to get a chance at the back straight. And it looks like it might not be enough since they all have pushed the passes. And hmm, will it be enough for Jet on Fire to pass Dicodom? Although it looks like Polybius is actually dropping really hard right now. He's 3.6, he's one second away from Diego Dom. And meanwhile here we have a battle between Danner, Josh and Ben Hees. Let's focus on this battle again. With Diego Dom now having to defend from Jet on Fire. But Jet on Fire looks like he's too far away. And that might be it for Jet on Fire to try and get to the podium. Oh no. Meanwhile, at the front, we have Fail who won the second race. Polybius will get P2. Digodon will get P3. Detofa will get P4. And Miguel Costa who will get P5. Meanwhile, never mind. Miguel Costa has actually been really close. We can run because Sana might make a move. And it's not enough. So it's P6 for Costa. P7 for Danner. P8 for Josh Brooks. P9 for Ben Hees. P10 for Lucas Muki. P11 for Hunter. P12 for Takuma and last for Redacted. Wow. Has he run out of fuel? Has, has he actually run out of fuel? No, he hasn't. Or has he? Yes, he, yeah, he has finished. That's it. Okay, now we're heading on to the interviews. Uh, what happened to the transition? What happened to the transition? Something happened to the transmission. Um, what? There we go. Okay, there we go. So that was the race. On well, the first race we had Diego Don getting the win followed by Josh Danner and Ben Hees. And on the second race we had Fail followed by Polybius, Diego Dom and Jet on Fire. So now we'll try to get an interview from <clears throat> Diego Dom, Fail, Josh and Polybius. Let's ask him, them if they are able to join me on these interviews. Oh, 
All right, now we're gonna get Josh Brooks. Hello. Hello. So, how do you want to describe that first race? First race was great. Yeah. I think if I hadn't battled with Fail for so long, I probably may. I, I doubt I would have catched Diego, but I would have. You might have had a chance. Yeah. 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 So overall, you got P two on the first race, but P eight on the second race. You want to talk about that second race? Yes, I'm going to kill you. Ah. Because you deployed a VSC for a three-car crash on lap one, but when but then there's a five-car pileup on lap two, and you ignored it. I had to know because the the actual problem it wasn't as bad as the third car, as the three car. How? Look, there were five cars. There was a car facing backwards on the waiting line, and loads of people crashed into it. How? Was Wait, hold on. Better? That's the one I deployed. No. No, I'm talking about so the, so the first the safety car you did deploy was turn three on lap one, where I think it was Lukey Smooky apparently came and just wiped me and I think Dana out. VSC deployed, all fine. Came back on, uh, one lap later, coming round mo the exit of Moss, I see a Takuma facing backwards. I'm like, oh okay, that's yeah, fine. I'll most... just go right. One car didn't. Yeah, so one car didn't, heading. but. But the others actually were able to go around him. Nope. I mean, that's what Three I got. Three other cars ended up hitting him. <sighs> that should have been a VSC. Uh... But I'm not one to complain, because I would have been much lower down if it weren't for it. <laughs> yes, you would. But for the sake of the rules, I'm going to kill you. To me, it was a stress. It was a stressful day. It was a stressful day. Race two was a nightmare because yeah. of all. The race two was a nightmare because the results, for some reason, didn't work. Mm, uh, oh well. Well, on thanks. Yeah, on to the next one. Thank you for the interview and roasting me live on stream. <laughs> no hard feelings, one. No hard feelings. Uh, now I'm a chicken on it's... the oven. It, a, a what? A chicken on a the chicken. oven being a chicken on an oven being roasted, and and oh, the, right. okay, and the heat it. is you, you. <clears throat> at least, at least you weren't spit roasted. <sighs> oh, right. thank you for the interviews. You can go now. Love you, wow. God damn it! Ah, uh, let's check on Digodom if he wants to interview. Um, Polybius 2. Hello, Digodom. Hello. Hello, so how do you want to describe that first race, that utter domination that you had? Well, it was not utter domination. They, uh... Mate, you uh, were on the lead I throughout mean, the whole race. Almost Fayou, the whole race. Fayou, uh did not start because of uh, he didn't see the lights. And then, well, I, I took... Uh, I mean, you were the guy who profited out the most of that. What? You were the guy who profited out the most of that. Yes, but, uh, well, they were fighting behind, so I, I just uh, had to not make mistakes and... Uh, secured it. Hmm. Wanna talk about that second race where you ended P3, so you did not actually get bad results, you actually got your first win on stream and <laughs> <laughs> Finally. And, a, and another podium being P3 on the second race, so second race was actually a bit of a nightmare because of the uh, hassle that happened at the start. Thank you for the subscription Redactor for three months. And yeah, yep. How do you want to describe that second race? Well, there was uh, madness everywhere uh, because we had to start. Um, there, there weren't, uh, you know, the places where you have to be at the at the start. So we did it manually, and then we were too close. So in turn two, we were all too close, and I I, I knew. A lot of people would go wider because 
there was no space and I I I, I think that was um, a wise choice for you yeah. to be honest and then the BSC and well uh, when Takuma was facing backwards um, I also gained some positions and then there was uh, trying to overtake uh, Jet, which was uh, very tough. But yeah, maybe with one more lap, I would have got Polybius, but uh, uh, I can't be, uh, I can't complain. Yeah, you cannot complain at all because you actually got really nice positions today in today's round. So thank you for the interview and see you on the next round. Thank you. And now for the guy who you all been waiting for. Polybius! So, Polybius, hello! Hello! How do you want to describe that first race that didn't go as planned? Very interesting. I'm just watching the replay back. It, it, I didn't turn. Hmm. I, I didn't turn. It wasn't a turn to the left, which it looked like. It wasn't a pit maneuver. I just didn't turn. Because it was a straight, but I wasn't going straight. Because it was you had to turn a little bit. My angle was wrong. So that would be my fault then. Hmm. And yeah, not the best results in the first race, but what about the second one? Would you actually end up P2 on the podium? How do you feel about uh, that? Very happy, but you know, it's a bit of a hollow, yeah, a hollow victory because VSC and you know, the whole 10 minute start thing. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure if we didn't have that, Jet on Fire would have probably catched up to me because I was making some big mistakes. Yeah, Jetofa Jet was on you on the la and the sec on the last corner. He was half a oh, second no, that away. Was Diego. Oh, that sorry, was Diego. Diego, Diego. Yeah, Diego. At that down. point, it was Diego. Yep. So yeah, if they didn't battle, I'm pretty sure they would have been at least on my tail. But uh, by the end, I was just trying to be so safe and not uh, trying to uh, f it up, as one might say, that I just <laughs> missed apexes constantly. Yeah. I I I braked super early and still turned in, like I normally would. So I just kind of. Through it. The other way. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, but in the end, it, it yeah. worked out. So Anyways, it was a bit of a, a bit of chaos for you too, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was a bit of a chaos trying to get organized, and then the BSC deployment being not the best or the most desirable choices. Ooh, did it not work on the second one? No, on the second race, the problem is that I deployed the wrong way. So. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. that's why we didn't see it. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm sure Josh will forgive you. Josh the Merciful. Uh, he already roasted me on stream, so... Yeah, yeah, I heard about it, but he, he'll be Josh the Merciful. Don't worry, don't worry. Mm. Oh, well. Well, congratulations on the podium, the second race. Better luck next yeah. time for the first race on next round. And, yeah, see you next round in F3. Yep, see ya. See ya. And that will be the end of the streams for today. Why is this glitched? Okay, there we go. So, yes, that will be the end of today's stream. Thank you all for coming on today's race at AF3. This weekend we will have, I believe it is, AF1. Uh, yes, it is. AF1 on Sunday at Spa Reverse. We will also be getting uh, AF4. Four is I'm not wrong. Yes, A4. This t I mean A4 tomorrow. And I believe we actually have also AF Asia. Yes, we have. So to recap, we have tomorrow A4 at I believe it was. Uh, huh. Not get any info. Oh yeah, the band West. We have F Asia coming up on board an an Indian track on this Sunday at the very early morning for us Europeans, for most of the Europeans. And we will have F one later that that day around Sparmers. So thank you all for coming for in today's stream. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Hopefully you didn't roast and you won't. Sorry. Hopefully you're going to. So, ah, hopefully you're not going to roast me as hard as just did on Discord. Okay. So yeah. Thank you all for coming and see you next time. Bye bye.